All right, so I am back again with another sort of photo buck review slash comparison. You might remember this one from before. It was made via Shutterfly, and if you flip to the back, you can actually see the little tag right there. It has a bunch of photos from a Civil War reenactment, and um, I like most of the photos. The one thing I don't like is I did a lot of these... Some of the images were kind of letterboxed with the margins like this, which I really like, but then some were these kind of like almost full... like They're not really full page, but stretched to the edge of the page images. And I mean, it works well with like kind of a two page spread like that. But with these, I, I, I'm not a big fan of it anymore. Uh, I like the photos and I think the book is pretty decent. You know, it was cheap and everything, but I, I was never a huge fan of the end result. In retrospect, I don't know why I chose that um, that sort of like semi full page or stretch to full page, but still with edge margins kind of look. I'm, I'm sure there's a term for that, but I have no idea what it is. So recently I won a photo book from Bay Photo right here. And as you can probably imagine, I used some of the same photos in it. But I um, basically just kind of reoriented them. I obviously went with a different size. I'm actually prepared this time. I brought a little tape measure. So this is an 8x8 book. And it's actually a tad bit bigger than 8x8. This one I believe is like an 8.5. Oh boy, that's like an 8 and 3 quarters by 10 and a quarter inch book. So I think the pages are 8 by 10 and the cover gaps and goes over a little bit so it's a little bit bigger i kind of prefer that um rectangular format uh, the square format works but uh I, i'm just not a huge fan of it i've made a lot of books in this manner and i just i've kind of gotten sick of it so having a uh, rectangle format was kind of nice to work with i don't know why i said rectangle like that like it's two separate words but you know whatever uh there's some nice options uh, i was able to get this entire book for free with some of the upgrades um, it has a very nice sort of like fall leather cover and it has this kind of, um, I guess it's sort of a die cast, uh, gold leaf name on it, which I really like. Uh, in retrospect, I, I kind of wish I'd gone a little bit bigger, but at the same time, I think it does kind of work just having the name kind of small there, uh, gives it kind of an authentic look. Uh, I didn't add any pages to it. I think their default is something like 16 or 18 pages, probably 18 pages, but I can't quite remember. I think the Shutterfly books are something kind of similar. Normally you would have to pay for this uh, cover upgrade, but somehow I was able to get it for free. I was kind of surprised they gave me that for free. Uh, you can do kind of similar stuff. You can do cover upgrades with most of the other books, but I, as far as I know, most of them don't offer this like fall leather material, or if they do, it would be a pretty significant jump in uh, price. But let me open it up and show you some of the book. We've got uh, pretty much the same kind of thing. As you can see, I kind of followed my own advice and I did more uh, margins. And since I didn't have a ton of pages, I, and the pages are also bigger, I went with these uh, sort of doubled images on a lot of the pages. Still did a two-page spread that's almost identical to the one in the other book. But uh, you can see there's quite a bit in there. A lot of the same images. I really like those images, and I just kind of decided to reuse them. Did a full double truck right there, edge to edge, and I think that came out pretty well. It barely even fits on, on the lens there. But uh, all in all, I gotta say, I thought it was a pretty nice book. It was pretty easy to make. I used the online tool just like I have with all the other ones. That's what I did with the Shutterfly and the Blurb. They're all pretty easy to use and pretty adequate. And if you stick with the, the sort of pre-made um, page templates, because all these, um, like this was a pre-made page template. I think this one was, I don't know about the double spreads. Those might have been things I had to kind of, I think I had to kind of custom do this a little bit, but it was it was pretty easy to do. All of them are pretty easy to use. They're all pretty comparable. Uh, one thing with Bay Photo was that you did have to create sort of an account and they give you some weird stuff. Like you have to verify it and they send you sort of a user code name or code number. You can't use your email as your username, which I thought was a little weird. I used to see that a lot in the old days, but I, I haven't seen that on a website in quite a while. Uh, they do have some tutorial videos to help you walk through every, everything. But uh, I, I looked at a couple of them and they're all very short and they're all very pedantic. It's, it's stuff that's like very obvious you probably wouldn't need to look up. Uh, but they do have that, which is interesting because I don't recall the other sites having a little tutorial walkthrough as useless as it was. Um, I was really impressed by the quality of the book. I, I think a lot of it comes down to the cover, honestly. That's probably the big make or break thing with me. And this would cost extra, but... Uh, the prices were pretty reasonable. Uh, Shutterfly has kind of gone up in uh, in cost recently. I was looking at some of their books, and if you go with the bigger ones or a lot of the uh, like page editions and whatnot, their books get pretty expensive. The base models are still around. For this book, I think it's around thirty something dollars, and they they usually do have a little coupon to give you free shipping or a little money off, so you're not going to spend a fortune on it. But I, I would also argue their shipping and handling is kind of high for what they're offering. 
and I found out the Bay Photo Books were very comparably priced. I think you're going to pay about as much or a little bit more, but you have uh, you have more size options, you have more cover options, and I think all in all the quality on these books is a, a little bit higher, so I, I kind of like it. I will say Shutterfly though, if you can get the coupons, if you can get the good coupons, they're harder and harder to come by, but you can still get these books really cheap. You can get them for, um, I, I've seen half off coupons pretty frequently, and I, I think they'll be doing one pretty soon as sort of a Christmas sale or like a New Year's sale. They usually do one or both. So you can probably get one of these books for like 20-ish dollars plus shipping and handling. So you're talking like $30, $32, $34 altogether, which isn't too bad. Uh, the Bay Photo one would be, especially this style of book that's a little bit bigger, with this cover would be more expensive. I think it would run more in the range of like $50 or $54. Uh, but it does look nice, and if you're doing something, if you're going to the trouble of making a book, you probably are going to want the nice cover and the nice die casting and everything. So you might be willing to spend the extra money and do that, because if it's something like a wedding album or something where, you know, it's, you're probably only going to make one or two of those in your life if it's if it's for you personally if you're a photographer you might you know do two a month but um it might be worth it to spend that extra money and get kind of a, a nicer higher quality book i would say still both of them are great options uh for me personally i i kind of like the um i kind of like the quality and i i definitely would like to use bay photo again uh, i'll have to see what exactly it was for i do like the shutterfly books because they're just they're so simple to make and i, I kind of know what i'm getting and a lot of times i like to make one of these as sort of a, a test unit or a proof so to speak and then uh, maybe try to move on and do something a little bit bigger and nicer so I, there's still value in both of them um like last time i think i said i kind of prefer the blurb to the shutterfly and i still stand by that uh but it, I have to say, the Bay Photo book is very, very comparable to the Blur book as far as like quality and everything goes. It doesn't have any sort of watermarks or anything. Like almost all of them have some sort of um, like a mark in the back. There'll be like a barcode and it'll say the name of the company. And Bay Photo doesn't do that. They just give you these nice black pages that look, uh, to me, those look really nice. I'm sure some people would prefer a white page you could kind of sign or write something on. Uh, you could have one of those added, I'm sure. But all in all, I think it's a very. It's a very nice book. It's it's got a, a I guess a stately air to it. It seems very professional. It seems like something you could keep around for quite a long time. Like I said with the Shutterfly books, I've had a couple of them. I've had for a couple of years are already starting to fall apart, and you have weird things like this strange line they do on the spine. I don't know why they do that, but it looks kind of cheap. And of course, you got a little a barcode on the back for who knows what. I mean, I'm not going to sell it. I guess that's just some identifier, but. There's little things like that that do kind of make them seem a little cheap and less professional. So again, if, the, if you just want a quick book to like keep around as a reference and maybe show to a client, Shutterfly book is probably the way to go. But if you want something more professional, you're actually going to try and like sell or give to somebody as a gift. Something like a, a Bay Photo book like this or even the Blurb book is probably going to be kind of uh, preferable. So uh, that's pretty much all I got to say here. I'll keep this video pretty short because you know I, I could go on about these photo books all day long, but. I, it seems like most people don't really like these videos. They don't seem to get as many views, but I like doing them and I think there's some value to them. So there's just one more book to add to the pile of reviews. So uh, again, if you want to make a book, I would definitely suggest trying out Bay Photo. They have they gave me a pretty interesting book. And again, I did get this for free. I won it through a contest. So it's one of those things where I might be, you know, I'm not being paid or sponsored for this, but uh, since I did get it for free, admittedly, I might be a little light on it and kind of saying like, wow, look at this awesome thing I won. But uh, I, don't, I don't think I've been too biased. It's very, very similar to the other books, but I, I do say the, the quality is, is nice. It impressed me. It was better than I thought. I was kind of expecting something, pretty much a blurb clone, and they have gone out of the way to do something different that I would argue is on par with, if not a little bit nicer than Blurb. So you got another option there if you're looking to make a photo book for any purpose. So hope you enjoyed that video and tune in next time. I'll be back with a camera review at some point, probably around the new year.